Hi everyone, welcome to another video of the previous week's controversies. So in this video, we're going to walk you guys through the details of the most discussed cases circulated in the K-pop industry recently, as well as how netizens react to each. Are you curious about them? Without any further ado, let's jump right into the video to get a deeper view into the following controversies with us. Number 1. New Jeans Got Accused of Allegedly Copying the Light Stick Design of BAP So here, we will kick off our video with the first controversy regarding New Jeans' lately released light stick. Recently, on October 19, New Jeans' official social media accounts had revealed the name of New Jeans' fan club, Bunnies, as well as uploaded a short video to introduce their official light stick named Binky Bong after 100 days of their debut. The light stick in the video looks similar to a white bunny with two letters N and J in the eyes standing for new jeans, which then after a rotation changed to a blue star and a pink heart. Obviously, new jeans' fans are on cloud nine when hearing this news, especially when Binky Bong will be available in the first quarter of 2023 on Weaver Shop. However, many soon pointed out that New Jeans' light stick has immediately reminded them of BAP's Matoki, which also has a design of a rabbit with two big ears. They even picked on the girl group, stating that New Jeans will never be at the same level as BAP, because no matter how hard they try to copy BAP's light stick, Matoki is completely more unique. On the part of bunnies, they immediately stand up to protect their idols from malicious comments, saying that some netizens are so ridiculous as they are obviously trying to mess with new jeans, since the two light sticks have no resemblance regarding colors, shape, and other details except for the rabbit theme. Even some babies, BAP's fandom, also claim that they couldn't find any similarity between the two designs. According to them, while Matoki looks like an alien, Binky Bong is literally a bunny or more like a U symbol to them at first glance. Plus, since BAP has been disbanded for a long time and is no longer relevant, it doesn't matter if New Jeans' light stick looks like BAP's light stick or not. All in all, New Jeans' fans believe that netizens need to stop intentionally digging up dirt on the girl group for such a nonsense and baseless reason as well as trying to create controversies to drag them down just because they're jealous of a rookie whose reputation is skyrocketing and has no scandal so far. Number 2. ATs and Dreamcatcher got criticized for pushing their concert during the national mourning period of the Itaewon tragedy. Here we come to the next controversy. Lately, the deadly stampede that occurred in Itaewon has stolen many lives, leaving great grief and loss for the entire Korean people. The Korean government also designated the period from October 30 until the situation is brought under control as a period of national mourning of the tragedy. What's more, many entertainment activities were postponed or even cancelled to express sympathy toward the victims and their families. However, recently, ATs and Dreamcatcher were put under harsh criticism for holding their concert during this time. Accordingly, ATs' world tour The Fellowship Break the Wall would last for two days from October 29 to 30, while Dreamcatcher also threw their 2022 Dreamcatcher Apocalypse Broken Halloween world tour from October 29 to 30. These decisions soon got on many netizens' nerves. They criticized the two groups of being so hungry for money that they shamelessly pushed their concerts during the national mourning period. Some fans even turned their back on ATs and Dreamcatcher, stating that these groups are so greedy and cold-hearted to the point that they didn't even spend time for the victim commemoration. On the other hand, there were some fans defending the two groups claiming that canceling a concert, which was prepared for months, is not that easy, especially for small and medium-sized companies like Happy Face Entertainment and KQ Entertainment, because it could incur significant cost and bring about negative effect which couldn't be handled or afforded. Particularly, each offline concert requires projected millions of dollars for production preparation and a huge number of staff members. Not only that, idols are not the ones who can decide whether the concert could be cancelled or not, as it depended on the company's settlement so fans believe that the two groups shouldn't be criticized, as this is not their fault. Moreover, some also spotted that in every concert, ATs did show their respect to the national mourning period, as they always wore black ribbons in their arms when performing. Thus, they said that netizens should get to know the situation thoroughly before throwing spiteful words at idols, as they obviously don't deserve the hate. 
Number 3. Vix's Hongbin called reporters trash when denying his drug-using rumor on Twitch. So let's get into the details of the last controversy. Recently, according to what the Nawan police station and Seoul reported, on November 4th, a man was arrested on charges of violating the Narcotics Control Act right at his home. In Gwanjingu, Seoul, after reportedly being found using illegal methamphetamine, for further information, the police revealed that this man is in his 20s and used to be a member of a former idol group, debuting in 2012 but then stopped pursuing his idol career path after the group disbanded. As soon as the news circulated all over the mass media, many netizens as well as digital press suspected that the man arrested is the former member of VIX, Hongbin, based on the fact that Hongbin also debuted in 2012 and changed from being an idol to a BJ, internet broadcast jockey. Didn't wait for his fans' his defending, the former idol himself soon responded to the drug charges allegation to prevent misunderstandings and trouble. Specifically, later on the same day, Hongbin uploaded a video on his own Twitch channel with a caption, Today is a holiday. In his video, he angrily stated that I'm trending everywhere today because of those garbage articles. Reporters are trash. I can state confidently that I am a victim of those allegations. I stream for 11 hours each day. When would I have time to do drugs? Hongbin expressed his anger toward reporters when being titled as a drug-addicted idol by saying that, Who would use drugs and then receive physical therapy? I'm really upset. Soon enough, his strong statement hit many headlines. Along with that, many netizens stand on his side and defended Hongbin, stating that they are 100% sure that the man who was arrested for illegally using drugs is not Hongbin because in fact, Vix isn't disbanded yet. Instead, the members are now just focusing on their individual work. Besides, there are many groups making their debut in 2012, so why did people jump right into conclusion that it is Hongbin who is facing drug charges? Some also bursted into anger toward reporters criticizing them for publishing misleading and false news without any valid or visible evidence just to draw attention. While many are satisfied with Hongbin's reaction, others claim that it is such a blanket statement of him when calling reporters as trash, because not all of them spread baseless rumors. Thus, as a celebrity, Hongbin needs to pay attention to what he said and avoid using extreme words to protect his image in front of the public eye and prevent further troubles. That is also the end of today's video. What is your opinion regarding these controversies? Comment down below to share your thoughts with us. Also, remember to like, share, and subscribe to Be Boss TV for more interesting K-pop content. Thank you for watching!